One of the most common faults relating to diesel injection problems is a loss of fuel pressure. The problem could either be poor fuel supply from the tank to the high pressure pump or the rail or injectors are not holding the fuel pressure within the system. The vehicle's ECU generated fault codes only go a certain distance to point us in the direction of the problem. Then it is up to traditional fault finding. Recent additions to the Laser Tools range include a number of specialist items that enable the operator to test these areas within the diesel fuel system to assist in the fault diagnosis. Poor fuel supply from the tank is the first thing to check. Today we're going to demonstrate our low pressure test kit, which is suitable for common rail diesel engines. The gauge is used for testing the fuel line pressure between the fuel tank and the high pressure pump. 8mm and 10mm connectors are provided in the kit, which suit most of the PSA and Renault applications. The tester should be placed in line. A convenient place is in the engine bay between the fuel filter and the pump. Care must be taken not to attempt to connect to the high pressure side. Switch on the ignition for 5 seconds or so. This lets the tank's lift pump self-bleed. Repeat this operation. Then start the engine. The fuel line pressure can be read on the gauge. Refer to the manufacturer's data for the correct figures, but as a guide, 2 to 5 bar is a representative figure. Probably the most common result of a faulty injector is excessive return flow, also known as back leakage. This is due to warm parts which cause the injector to send too much fuel back to the tank. The Laser 5260 is a fuel return flow tester suitable for common rail systems. It will quickly and easily point to faulty injectors. Pressure loss on a common rail fuel system can result in poor starting or even a no start situation as well as rough running and poor acceleration. If one or more injectors suffer from excessive back leakage the fuel pump cannot generate enough pressure to let the system operate correctly. This can be more obvious at start and tick over as fuel pressure is directly related to engine revolutions. The flow tester kit can test up to 10 injectors at a time and includes injector adapters for Bosch, Siemens, Denso and Delphi common rail systems. Fitting is straightforward. First, remove the return pipe connectors from the top of the injector. Hang the bottle assembly in a suitable position under the bonnet Choose the correct connectors from the kit and fit the flexible pipes to the injectors. Start the engine and leave to tick over. Watch the bottles and stop the engine when they are approximately 50% full. Compare the levels across the bottle assembly. A bottle showing more than 10% extra fuel points to an injector that may have a leakage problem. Low engine compression can cause hard starting or poor performance, although this is more of a problem on higher mileage older engines. The Laser 4510 is a very comprehensive master kit which will fit the majority of modern diesel engines. To take compression readings, normally the glow plugs are removed and the correct adapter is screwed into the glow plug aperture. All the glow plugs should be removed to give an accurate compression test. The kit comes with 21 different adapters. Take care to choose the correct one by comparing it to the removed glow plug. It is important that no fuel can be delivered while conducting the compression test. Disabling the fuel supply will be system specific, so refer to the manufacturer's documentation. In this case we have disconnected the fuel pump fuse. Diesel engines have a much higher compression than petrol engines. After comparing the results on all four cylinders, this engine's fine. 
We have just tested the compression through the glow plug apertures, but sometimes you may need to remove an injector to gain access. The kit includes an additional adapter set that lets you build a dummy injector that you can fit into the cylinder head and connect the compression tester to. A number of claws and clamps are included so that the dummy injector can be mounted securely. We will fit it to this engine on the stand to demonstrate how it fits. The compression tester is connected straight onto the dummy injector and you would carry out the test as before. When the diesel fuel system has been serviced or fault finding carried out, air can be introduced into the system. Most modern systems are either self-bleeding or have a hand pump already fitted. However, many can still take some time to purge the air out of the system. The new 5262 bleed priming kit allows the user to connect into as many different diesel fuel systems as possible due to the six different connector types included. For bleeding after a fuel filter change, connect into the low pressure fuel circuit before the filter. Check the arrow in the pump bulb to make sure the direction of flow is correct. Pump until clear fuel with no bubbles are seen in the exit pipe. If it is difficult to purge the air in the pipes, a 19mm bleed valve is included, which enables this air to be bled off.